Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this look right here. I wanted to do a really pretty glam, but still easy, um, monochromatic Valentine's Day tutorial. So guys, can you figure it out? It's all pink. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm super excited to do this look. I wanted to do something everybody can do. So if you're excited to see this tutorial, then please keep on watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. I upload a video every single day of the week. I don't want you to miss any. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with a little bit of concealer and powder. I've already done my brows and I have applied tape to... That way I can get a really, really clean line. So I'm gonna be going in with the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. It's a 10 color palette. And since we're doing a very pretty pink um, smoky eye, I'm gonna be using a blush as um, a transition shade. I'm just gonna be using my favorite Wet n Wild um, crease brush. And I think I'm gonna be going in with um, the shade right here first, so right here, okay. So you can definitely use blushes on the eyes, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna get that started for a nice transition shade. I wanted to do a little bit more of a glam um, Valentine's Day tutorial, um, but I wanted it to still be something very doable. Um, while cut creases and everything's really, really pretty, I just wanted something that was gonna be really, really doable for the majority of people. Does anybody have any really fun Valentine's Day plans? Um, I don't think me and Sean are doing anything yet, but... Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this other matte shade, right here. It's a little bit of a brighter pink. I'm just gonna be putting that lower into the crease area, just to start building some of that color. nice transition. Okay, if it's not super noticeable yet, we just want something that this bright color is going to blend into. So that way it's not just looking super stark. Okay, next I'm going to be getting kind of this um, darker burgundy shade right here. And that's going to go even further into the crease. It's still warm, which is what we want. I'm gonna apply that directly into the crease. I think, um, you know, a pink eyeshadow look is very, very pretty. I think it is very, very romantic. And as long as you do it right, you know, anybody can wear pink eyeshadow. It's just gonna be more with the tone. You know, if you're not comfortable with a pink all over look, you can definitely do, you know, a pink eyeliner. If pink shadow is totally not your speed, throw on a pink lipstick or pink nail polish. It's totally. So the next thing we're going to be going into is the NARS Dual Intensity Blush in Adoration. Okay, guys, we're going to be going in with this color right here, okay? You can definitely use a brush, you can use your finger, whatever you are comfortable with, okay? I'm gonna be using my finger because I want the highest color impact. Yeah, guys, you're doing it. I also like this because um, it's kind of got like a shimmery metallic finish to it, so. So not picking up on camera how pretty this is and how bright it is. Or maybe it's the bright lights shining in my eyes. Either way. Really, really pretty. Plus, if you have green eyes, the pink will totally make them pop. So 
so pretty. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into that last transition shade we went into. So this one right here. And I'm just going to get those a little bit more blended together. So yeah, so far everything on our eyes is blush, which I'm totally okay with. So next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to just get my Charlotte Tilbury um, Rock and Coal Eyeliner. This is the, it's a really, really beautiful um, rich brown eyeliner and I'm just going to pop that on. And I am going to go ahead and we just want to get that as close to the water or to the lash line. Okay because we want a little bit of separation. The reason why I think people are intimidated by pink shadow is because it can make them look sick. So if we have that darker line right at the um, lash line, that's really, really going to help. You could definitely use black. I wanted to go in with this pretty brown shade because I don't want it to be too dark. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup. Okay, I don't want this tutorial to be super, super long. I'll be back and we'll finish off the look with some highlighter, some blush, and some lips. I'll be right back, guys. So I obviously did my face makeup. Um, I also put on some mascara, and I will leave everything down below in the description box, so that way you guys can know what I used. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use a pencil brush and dip back into that um, NARS Dual Intensity Blush. Okay, and I'm just going to smoke this out on my lower lash line. Okay. Guys, if you don't want to do this step, you can just totally skip this step. Um, this is where that little bit of added drama is going to be coming in. I like that, that's really pretty. guys you don't also have to use like you know you don't need to go out and get this blush obviously any pink blush that's like this tone will do okay so it's not like you need to go drop 40 bucks on a blush okay hit up your local Dollar Tree I love their um, color mates um, blushes they're huge pan sizes they're extremely pigmented and they're just great blushes. I love using those as shadows all the time. It's really pretty. I like that. Okay, um, that Charlotte Tilbury pencil is amazing, but it's not great for the waterline. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Marc Jacobs Highliner Matte um, Gel Crayon in Earthquake and hit my waterline. again guys this is really gonna smoke it out okay and it is going to once again put that little bit of a buffer um, if you have smaller eyes you can definitely use like a nude pencil in the waterline instead of the brown once again I kind of wanted a really pretty pink smoky look and I think that the brown liner on the top lash line and also in the water line really lends to that smokiness and that depth. So that's why I did want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the same mascara that I applied on my upper lashes to my lower lashes. It's the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Magna um, mascara. So guys, I'm 
his lower lashes are in for 2018. So you can totally load up on the mascara. Um, you could also apply falsies. This look would look gorgeous with them, but you don't have to. look so far. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so to so I've already contoured. Um, so to you know fin start finishing off the face, got it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into that NARS palette because I just kind of want to bring a little bit of you know symmetry to the skin, match it kind of to the eyes. I'm gonna give that really pretty flush. So I do have to say that this blush is amazing though. When packed on with the finger onto the eyes, it's very intense, extremely pigmented. With a brush on the cheeks, once again, guys, super pigmented, but you can definitely play with it more. So, just want a tiny bit more just on the apples. That really pretty flushed look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the other side, the light shimmery pink shade. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the apples right there. This is a beautiful blush topper, so. Really, really pretty. So, last step to the skin is I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Blossom Glow Highlighter, guys. This is stunning. So, so pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and load up my, my brush. Guys, I'm gonna be taking a lot, okay? I really, really want a very intense, wet look. With this kind of look, you can definitely do a more intense highlighter if you want, which I definitely do. Really, really pretty. So I don't have very much space between my brow and the start of my hairline, so I will put some highlighter right there. It just kind of helps to open up that space a little bit more. A little bit on my cupid's bow. Just a touch on the bridge of the nose. So, so pretty. Love this highlighter. Let's just go ahead and apply some right underneath the brow. Really, really beautiful, smoky look. Loving it so far. So last step is obviously lips. So I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Matte Lipstick. I'm not a huge pink lipstick fan, but this shade is really, really pretty, so. is very very creamy it's very pigmented I think this is a gorgeous look but guys like I said I wanted to do something a little bit you know more glam with the extreme highlighting and the bright um, pink smoky eye but I definitely think that this turned out really really pretty I love the lipstick shade with it so I wanted like I said I wanted to do something really glam but I also wanted to do something that pretty much everybody can do if you're not a pink gal, um, you can definitely change up the, sh um, the shades. Um, monochromatic looks are really, really pretty on everybody. So you can do, you know, kind of a more berry. You could do brown. You could be do taupe. Whatever you would like to do, you can totally do. I wanted to do a very pink Valentine's Day inspired look. You can totally add glitter to this if you wanted to. False lashes. You could make it as extreme or as natural as you want. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed, you know, this more glam, smoky, monochromatic Valentine's Day tutorial. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you share this video. I'd really appreciate it. 
Also, you guys should follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat is all at Budget Glam Babe. Hit me up there. I'll definitely get back to you. And yeah, you guys, I hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you guys tomorrow.